Hey, what's up, everybody? Today we're going to talk about the news of the day, and that is the extension of Terrence Steele. This is serious. Got my time, bros. As you know, man, Cowboys have been making deals all offseason. This is a... Is this the new Cowboys? Can we expect this next year? Flipping fives for veterans instead of wasting them on, on late-round busts? You know? I think that they really went into this offseason meetings with with a uh, a goal, an objective to really step back, take in some, you know, uh, I, I think maybe they they took in some some commentary from from uh, from McCarthy and and uh, maybe even Dan Quinn. So uh, on how how to build this roster because you see what they've done. Uh, they they've extended their their. Uh, a lot of cornerstone players. Trayvon Diggs, right? Uh, they redid Zach Martin. They had to do that. You know, they had to do that. Uh, and then this recent deal here. Terrence still gets the extension. Five-year deal. $86.8 million, dude. $50 million guaranteed. That, that in itself is also um, a new deal for the Cowboys, you know. Fronting so much guarantees up front. So, you know, it's a... It's a great deal for Terrence Still. He's a Mike McCarthy draft pick, undrafted out of Texas Tech. Um, you know, I remember covering him uh, during the, the Senior Bowl, and and you know when we when we had him as our undrafted draft class, I, I didn't think this guy would make the team, and then he actually made the team with the, the fifty three cuts, and I was like, dang, this guy <laughs> really made the team, and he made it over. You know, other other guys that we thought would, would have been um, of a higher impact, like a Bradley and I or someone like this. And no, that was not the case. He really takes the coaching, you know. And the most important part is he put in the work, you know, after the season. Uh, building his, working on his craft, you know, working with uh, with Duke Mayweather. So I think it's, uh, it's important to highlight that, that this guy is somebody that, that you want in your offensive line room, you, you don't want like a Lyle Collins who's just there collecting a check and showing up fat as fuck and out of shape as fuck and doing all, all sorts of nonsense. You don't want that. You want these kinds of guys that are here working and grinding. You know, Tyler Biatish, you see him doing the same kind of deal. You see uh, Tyler Smith putting in the work here this last past off season as well. So you have a good work ethic here in the Cowboys offensive line room, which is good, especially for the younger guys that you want to bring up, you know, like uh, TJ Bass. He sees the work ethic. The standard is high here in Dallas, all right? The standard is set, and um, that's the standard. So it's good to see the Cowboys investing in the offensive line. It's the uh, bread and butter of, of the team. You know, this team goes with the offensive line, you know, you get dinged up, a major guy goes out, you better have depth there and you better have quality depth there or else, you know, the, the season is in peril. All right, so good deal here for uh, Terrence Steele. All right, five-year deal, like I said, $50 million in guarantees. That, that's that's big-time money right there. Big-time money. And, uh, you know, it's uh, very important that, that you protect Dak Prescott and, and you continue to solidify this offensive line. I think Terrence Still is one of the first pieces here in, in a little revamping, you know, because we, we brought in Tyler Smith here. He's your left guard. Um, <clears throat> I really like what I saw out of Awesome Richards here. I think you have real potential there at the left tackle position. I think he's going to be the guy that takes over if there's an injury there or when there's an injury there. Let, let, let's be real. Tyron's going to go down at, at some point. You know, he's, he's been triple bubble wrapped. Didn't play a snap in the preseason. I only hold up in that first game against a very physical Giants game. Okay, is he going to come out of there dinged up and missing games right at the bat? We'll see. But I feel good about Austin Richards' progression and um, the youth movement. It's a young man's league, bro. I keep saying it. Keep him young. Right? Yeah, the go-to-goats there at right guard, Zach Martin, you know, uh, holding it down. 
You got your young guys in here now. Slow rebuild, right? Tyler Smith, Tyler Biadish, Terrence Steele gets the extension. So, you know, um, and I think Austin Richards could be that answer there at, at left tackle. He's got to work on his foot movement. That's what really sticks out in my evaluation of, of Austin Richards is the foot movement. It's a little, a little sludgy, you know? And uh, I've, I've seen some of our other evaluations of a uh, similar uh, description. So, um, and work on that in the offseason, work on that during the season. I think Austin Richards will just get better as the season progresses. So, his number will get called up. But today's the day for Terrence Steele. Shout out to him, man. Undrafted. Bringing in the money, baby. Bringing in the money. So, feel good about the offensive line. I feel good about it right now as we sit here leading up to week one than I did at the end of last season. At the end of last season, there was a lot of question marks, you know, depth-wise. The swing. Who's going to be the swing? What's, what are we doing with Tyron? Now we have, now it's clear what, what, what the plan is. Tyron at left tackle. Tyler Smith at left guard. Tyler Biatish at center. Zach Martin at right guard. And Terrence still holding it down at right tackle. So it's going to be a, it's going to be an interesting season. It's going to be an interesting season as well. Um, I'm pumped about it, man. I feel really good about this Cowboys team this year. You know, um, I sat back, you know, this whole offseason, watched everything, watched the progression of the rookies. I think you're going to get a lot of production from this team, this young defense. But the offensive line is where it's going to be at. Uh, that's that's going to be what really gets this team into deeper in the playoffs. we got to stay healthy. Guys, let me know what you think about the Terrence Steele extension. Did you see it coming? Did, did you want to keep Terrence Steele? What do you think about his progression from the undrafted rookie to now the vet turns still with a new deal. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you for the next one. Peace.